as we've seen athletes like Kesa Moletane who only started dominating in her senior age and not at the young age junior level and on our screen um, that is the under 12 boys uh, running that three kilometer uh, distance uh, Limpopo once more uh, taking the lead uh, followed by the free state athlete free state athletics uh, athlete uh, Limpopo definitely um, being, you know, it seems like they're getting this reputation in this event of starting very, very fast um, and, uh, you know, sprinting there in the beginning. Yeah, no, no offense to whoever's coaching these young athletes, but it's not really what you want to see. It's, um, it's an indication that they don't know a lot about distance running. Uh, one of the first things that you have to understand is that you've got to pace yourself and you've got to know yourself. These young athletes are going out way, way, way too fast and they're paying for it pretty quickly. You can see the athletes from some of the bigger provinces, from CGA, from AGN. They generally do go out a little bit slower. They do try and pace themselves a little bit more. And maybe a young man like this who's clearly talented, he can clearly run really fast with a bit, with a bit of coaching, with a bit of knowledge of how best to approach a race. Um, it might work in his favor stretching his arms out a little bit there i don't know if that's um, an issue i don't know if he's having a problem with his his muscles or a bit of fatigue already but um looks comfortable now he seems to be okay i don't know how long he's going to be able to hold this though zinkle yes ngobeni tsapang from limpopo athletics uh, they leading that race for the under 12 boys uh, a three kilometer um, Wes, just looking at how fast this boy is running, um, you know, it is not an easy pace that he's running in. And I think they're probably going to pass around three minutes at the one kilometer distance. Uh, he may pay towards the end, but it certainly does depend on the kind of training that this young lad has done. Uh, but Central Houting Athletics and Transkei Athletics uh, not going to back down that easy. And we see the Central Houting Athletics athlete taking a surge and making that surge and uh, past that, uh, you know, both the athletes, in fact, now um, and is now leading with a, a still reasonably small gap. Um, and right behind them is that Athletics Houting North uh, athlete coming through. Um, I'm just wondering if the Athletics Transkei athlete and the Limpopo athlete did not go off too fast uh, now and may have to pay towards the end. But the Central Houting Athletics um, athlete is definitely looking very, very comfortable. He's looking very determined. He looks like he really, really wants to win this title. Um, did not start, start off too fast. I think he paced himself pretty well from the start. And it seems like he is really comfortable and confident about uh, you know, the way that he is approaching this race. Uh, looking very, very comfortable at the moment. Yeah, he's flying now. I think um, something that might be a little bit easier to accept when you're a little older when you get into a race like this it is all for one you know everybody's racing for themselves but when you get into a situation where somebody's broken away like this and you've got two guys chasing him it could be in the best interest of both those athletes behind him to try and work together um, and just pull this guy back if they try and do it individually they get lots into a race for second position and they hand him victory so by working with your opponent, you can try and beat another opponent. I don't think we're really going to see that here. Um, we haven't seen it in the other junior races today, and I don't think we're going to see it here. This guy is on the move now. He looks really comfortable. He doesn't look to be slowing down at all. If anything, he looks to be speeding up. Um, not quite sure how far we, in, we are into this race. We does still have a little bit of a way to go, but five minutes in um, he just still has quite a long way to go but quite a big gap as we've seen in so many other races and what we have seen today in a lot of these races maybe not from people who have broken away very early 
but certainly people who have broken away at some point at the ra in the race have been able to hold that. I don't think we've seen one sprint finish yet, Cynthia. Yes, I think we actually haven't seen a sprint finish yet today, Wes. Um, it, it has been athletes sort of throwing in surges uh, here and there, but I think with the under 10 uh, boys race, we almost got a sprint finish, but it wasn't a sprint finish per se. I think it was the last 300 meters of that race, there were some changes in, in the front, but um, this young lad from Central Gauteng Athletics, uh, looking very comfortable, um, approaching the two kilometer mark uh, i think he is looking very safe at the moment because of um you know how he how comfortable he's looking and how his cadence is looking uh, he's not glancing back like we've seen some of our leaders earlier on and he is just running his race and looking really 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 comfortable Jean Fasaki from Central Kharteng, looking to have no trouble, looks, as Zintle says, very smooth. I think one of the reasons that we've seen people being able to break away like this today is the nature of the course. They've put a couple of bumps near the start, and they've got a few of them near the finish as well, including quite a nasty little climb. And I think what happens is, once somebody's able to get away, these little climbs here are taking so much out of the rest of the guys chasing them that they're just not able to close their gap. So it's the kind of course that, even though uh, we suggested earlier that maybe you don't need to start too fast on this course, what you do need to do is try and open a gap pretty early, and maybe that's the way to win this race. It could certainly be another way to win this race, with, and we see some changes uh, there in second and third position. We now have the two Athletics Gauteng North athletes uh, coming through in second and third, and it seems like the Athletics Transkai and the Limpopo Athletics athletes are nowhere to be seen. Um, and uh, we see as well here our leader uh, still leading confidently and comfortably uh, as he heads to the finish. He does look to be in complete control. Two guys behind him are from Gauteng North. Again, probably aren't going to work together. It would work in their favor if they did, although I don't know how much it would help, to be honest. This guy's got such a big gap now. It's one of those situations where it's his race to lose. As long as he can hold this pace, as long as he can keep it steady, there's nobody who's going to catch him now. He's got to do something wrong for those guys to close that gap. We are starting to approach the finish, and you can't even see them, can you? That It's actually astounding at some of the gaps that have been opened by, by the leaders in these races today. Again, this isn't a, a primary school inter-house race. This is the national championship. This is the best in the country. For somebody to have such a big gap over the second place athlete really is phenomenal. And I'm surprised at how many times we've seen it today. Definitely surprised as well, um, whereas I think these athletes are really putting in the hard work and uh, putting in the effort to come here and uh, dominate like this and open up such substantial gaps at, uh, you know, for athletes who are in their own right the best in their provinces as well. So um, this just comes to show you that, you know, some of these athletes are really, really putting in those hours at the training sessions. And like this young man from Central Gauteng Athletics, um, he is going to be taking that gold medal for Central Gauteng and winning this under 12 boys three kilometer race. Great run by Sean Fasaki. Very well deserved, as, as it is for all the winners today. A uh, bit silly to say that somebody who wins a race doesn't deserve it, but what a great run. He really played his hand well, um, and how dominant. Can't even see the second place athlete. There they come. Sure, I mean, always looking at the time, he came through at around 10 minutes and 15 seconds. That is on average 3 minutes and 15 seconds per kilometer. 
So this could be the reason why we see such a string of athletes and not bunched up. I mean, three minutes and 15 seconds. That is really, really fast for a 12-year-old. Yeah, that is so quick. And talented young man. Hopefully somebody is looking after him. I'm sure somebody is. Hopefully...